it's Raquel Bowman here and today I'm going to share with you the latest Pennant Paisley collection. This is one of the designer collections by Paige Evans and it's called Take Me Away. So within this collection there's lots of embellishments, there's a roller stamp this time and there are 24 pattern papers. So let's get started with the papers. So the first paper that I'm going to show you is actually an acetate sheet and it's just got a really big floral design on it. So that's just the one piece. There's the acetate sheet and I'll get started with our papers. So this is number one and it's a cut apart so it's a combination of 4x6 cards and 3x4 cards. And on the reverse side is a gorgeous purple. So what you'll notice in this collection is that it does have purple which you don't see very often with scrapbooking collections anymore. This is number two and it's a nice floral print and on the opposite side is sort of a grid look in a green. Number three is a cross stitch look pattern paper with the, just the different colours within the collection and on the reverse side a green triangle. Number four is just a painted look piece of paper. It's using the colours within the collection so you've got sort of a combination of some really bright colours like the yellow and the pink and then the purples and sort of reds, pops of red throughout as well. And on the back is one of my favourites and it's just a really gorgeous small triangular print on white as a base. This is number five and number five is a map design. So United States of America and we've got Canada at the top. Really nice bold colours and then on the back is a yellow print that sort of goes from a deep yellow to pale. Number six is a text print on a grey and on the opposite side is sort of a herringbone look, it's sort of got a wood grain to it as well as some pink and grey so it's quite a different colour palette to some of the rest of the layout, uh, the papers and what I've noticed is that I can sort of select you know bright bulb colours like this page but then I can also gather from this collection a colour palette like this which is quite neutral and create layouts like that so that's what I really like about the options with these papers you've got a lot of choice this is number seven. So this again was a really popular print from the last collection because you could either punch these out or you could layer the squares and you had lots and lots of patterns like you might get in a six by six pad on one sheet of paper. So there's this here and then a beautiful coral spot on the reverse. Number eight is one of my favorites and it's just a really beautiful scallop print if you look up nice and close but then it's sort of got your coral, your purple and then your mint green. It's just really beautiful. And then a wood grain but this wood grain has a bluey green tone to it so it's not grey it's sort of more of a, a green tinge. Next paper and you can tell these are definitely papers are definitely inspired by Paige's travels. If you follow her Instagram you'd see her photos that she shares and this is number nine and it's just lots of windows, those real bright bold colours, sort of like a creamy beigey base on the background and then a sort of geometric -y print at the back. Number ten is another floral design definitely can see these being cut out and a heart print in coral. This one's another one of my favourites, it's number 11 and I just like the opportunity for layering and for cutting these up. So this is number 11 and then a beautiful bright yellow on the back. 
Number 12 is sort of a combination paper, so you've got two thirds of the page has just a stripe design and then this bottom third is that yellow print. And then on the opposite side is just a whole lot of hexagons in a small design. Number 13 is this house print. It's definitely Europe, Europe inspired. And then the back is another one of those sort of blocked papers. Number 14 is another cross stitch design. This one is in florals. So you could actually get stitch cut, stitching um, pieces to match or threads to match this and you could even stitch over this design. And then the back is a really gorgeous hot pink. Got another uh, matte print for 15. And this is sort of a more Europe print. And then a gorgeous purple on the back. I'm excited, as I mentioned, to see purple in this collection. Number 16 is a hexagon print. Sort of looks like a jewel. I'll bring that up close. Lots of different colours within the collection on this one. And then a diagonal stripe. Can't go wrong with a diagonal stripe. And this is sort of a minty colour. Another floral. And as you can see, there's so many different varieties of pattern and colour within this collection that you can really grab together lots of different colour palettes and you probably wouldn't think they were all the same collection but they just work together so well at the same time. So this is number 17 and it's a floral and on the back you've got that gorgeous coral. Number 18, I really like this one. This is a more masculine colouring so you've got your wood grain, your mint, greys and whites and sort of a dark charcoal colour within this print. And on the back is sort of a minty going up to a lighter green print, but it's actually got a shape design on there as well. Number 19, so we're getting there. We've got 24 papers this time. Instead of 12 is this sort of stripped paper using lots of different colours as well as some text and some floral prints and some cross stitch so just some of the patterns within the collection but they're in a strip design and then a diamond printed background that's multicolored number 20 is a embroidery hoop type design so you could either cut these out or make a feature of them on a page it's really nice design and then a purple heart on the back or mauve. 21 is this fun square pattern paper. Lots of different designs and icons within the squares and it's sort of a white base this one and then sort of an ombre look paper on the back. Number 22 is a page full of hexagons, lots of different colours again, and then a grid type paper on the back. Number 23 is a paper with bows, so it's got a sort of subtle grey dot on the background of a white base, and then multicoloured bows, and then a charcoal -y floral design on the opposite side. And our last paper, number 24, is made up of these gorgeous frames, nice and bright, quite uh, nice and versatile phrases on here as well. And then a herringbone sort of look on the other side. There are quite a number of embellishments in this collection. 
and I am missing the ephemera pack which I'll make sure to include an image of at the end and I'm also missing the cross stitch kit as well but I thought that I'd go through the collection with you before I get playing with it and then <laughs> take pieces out so the first thing I'm going to show you is these Wild Heart Accent and Phrase stickers. So instead of the large 12 by 12 chipboard sheet for this collection, we have the Thickers chipboard set. So it's got different icons like florals and floral vines. We've got some flags, ampersand, little pin cushion here, some scissors, a carousel horse, some frames as well. And then on the opposite side, there's another 6x12 sheet with some words, some bows, which are super cute, little peg here. Bit of a combination of things, really. Uh, some houses and then some tabs down the bottom. I'll bring that up nice and close so you can see. So that's the chipboard sheet. Then we have another thickers pack and this is foam phrase stickers and they're called Dream and there's 52 in the pack. They have a white core for the foam and they're gold on one side and a white on the opposite side. So words like take me away, fun, some hearts and leaves, wild heart, fabulous, weekends. And then on the other side, keeping it real, you and me, lovely sunshine and smile. So that is the foam thickers. We have some buttons and these are quite small in size. In terms of size, the actual sheet that the buttons are stuck on are 3 by 3 inches. And the buttons themselves are about half an inch to some of them only about a quarter of an inch wide so they're quite small little bitty buttons they're on a foam base or foam adhesive but you could always peel off them away from the foam and just adhere them with the liquid adhesive so that is the buttons from the collection Then we have the bows and they're made out of a suede material. So I'll open these up to show you. So they are there's six in the pack and they are again with that foam but you could take that off and just adhere them with a liquid adhesive and that's them there. So if you bring them up nice and close, you can see that suede look to them. So that's the bows. Then I'm super excited because you can't go wrong with a roller stamp. <laughs> and this collection has a roller stamp. And it has obviously just the one stamp, but it has the 12 different designs on it and I'll just take it out and it's just like all the others it's sort of got the signature sticker there and then you just obviously turn for the designs and what I like to do is just keep this little piece cut out and put in with my roller stamps just so I remember what there is so I'll show you those again just so that you can see and sometimes you know roller stamps you can I, I've got a whole lot of them but sometimes you don't get things like say the row of hearts or this floral design is quite unique so it's nice to have this different design that cross stitch look is really cool as well so that's the roller stamp then we have the wood veneer. There are 18 in this pack and they're more of a lighter veneer similar to how the fancy free ones were. So they're not a dark wood veneer, they're a light wood veneer and I'll just show you some of the different 
designs that you get. And of course you can see which designs there are on the back of the packaging as well, if I show you that now. This one's pretty cool because you can punch out and use the negative piece as well. Got hay and then you, some circular pieces. And some flags, so lots of shapes there. So that's the veneer. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is the paper clips. So I can see these being really popular with people who love planners as well. There's nine in the pack, and they are they've got a gold sort of square paper clip look. But then the tops of them are sort of like an epoxy sticker that fold over and join together. So they are obviously got the print on both sides, but they feel like an epoxy sticker. So I'll show you those. The last thing I want to show you is another one of the page kits. So I'll zoom back out and I've got a mess all around me so I apologise for that. I'll move these things out of the way. And the page kit includes your designer paper, your die cut piece, some ephemera, some foam tabs and some acetate cards. And this design here is what you can create with it. So I'll open this up and give you a close look. So this example here actually doesn't have a photo on it, so I'm guessing that you could use it as a wall art statement piece, but you could still incorporate a photo with this because you could either, my idea for this is that I'm going to actually print some small photos and maybe on some of these negative larger letters I might put photos within them. But I really love that background paper, so I probably want to keep it the same. So within this piece of paper is this die cut, and then the designer paper underneath. Then we have in the packaging some small little acetate cards. We have this gorgeous ephemera here, and I am loving these words. And then some of the florals little bows and those bows are pretty tiny they are about an inch in size so they're a nice size embellishment and that is pretty much the contents of that kit so this kit gives you everything that you need to create or replicate this picture at the back So that's the Take Me Away collection by Paige Evans. I hope that this has given you a good insight into what you can get if you purchase it. And I'll include pictures at the end of the ephemera pack and also of the cross stitch kit, which I haven't included in this share. Thanks everyone, and I'll be back soon with some creations using it. Bye.